Hello, good morning. Most welcome to Stage Africa. It's been a week in which everybody ha had been looking at the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. The big guns in Africa all made it through to the group stage. Now we have 20 teams which are going to be divided in groups of four teams each, you know, at a draw to be organized by FIFA. And then we'll get to know which of the teams or which of the groups definitely will be the group of that, the easier group, and who will qualify for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Ghana certainly also beating Comoros with strikes from Jordan Ayu, Mubarak Wakaso. I'm sure you follow the coverage on GTV. Again, on this show, we also talk about a Japan Week celebration. They had the Japan Ambassadors Championship for Karate Do and Judo, you know, um, during this month. We have the ambassador in the studio to tell us more about this competition, why they did it, what are the aims and the objectives, and what they plan to do in the coming years. And also a big one coming up just close to the end of the month. We're having the National Paralympic, you know, sports festival for that matter, dubbed the Dan Divan Sports Festival. Today we'll be having Rafael Bochonkebe as well as Maclean Jujonu. These are national para athletes as well as Dan Divan telling us more about this competition and what they hope to achieve with it on the 29th of November. So it's a packed show. Seto Usu in the mix as well as Abubakar Damba in the mix. I'm just not going to talk too much today. They'll be doing all the talking on Stage Africa. As usual, I say many thanks to Jewel's Jewelry for my beats, you know, making us look African anointed boutique for the shirts and everything that we do here. We need to go for a break and when we come back, we start off first, we talk on Karate Do, Judo, Kendo after this break. TV license is back with a bang. Every household, restaurant, canteen, hotel, or any institution with a TV set or equipment capable of receiving TV signal is required to pay TV license. With your TV license, broadcasting in Ghana is going to get more exciting with educating and entertaining programs, news updates, current affairs programs, including live matches and event proceedings. TV license in Ghana, definitely a wind of change. You saw the game. You saw the goal. You saw the action and the reaction. You also heard the comment. But you need to catch them again for your total satisfaction. Enjoy all the highlights of sporting events and the Global Football League on Sports Highlights. Sports Highlights, live or on GTV Sports Plus and GTV every Monday at 8 p.m. Sports Highlights, your total ticket to the discussion. There's no way my quicker can go four rounds with me because of my power. I got my power, I got experience, I got too, everything too much more than my quicker. And I want him, that girl, I call her, I call her girl because she, 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 she don't want to fight me. She's scared of me. The, she know who I am and what I can do. All the, I, know, I know the trainers, these trainers don't want to fight me. And uh, I took the title from a young man. And uh, any old man who wants to challenge me, hey, I'm okay. We all know how important good nutrition is to grow up big and strong. Not only is cowbell milk enriched with 28 vitamins and minerals, it's also boosted by the five most important vitamins, which we call Vita-Rich. It's got vitamin A for good eyesight development. It's got vitamin C to help fight infections. It's got vitamin D and calcium to help build strong bones and teeth. It's got vitamin E to help with body protection. And it's got vitamin K for general well-being and immunity. For good health and vitality, only Cowbell with Vitaridge puts you on the fast track. You are watching My Heritage, Your Heritage, and Our Heritage. Welcome, Welcome to Bed and Breakfast. I am trying to do what everybody else doing. Just cause everybody doing what they are doing. And this is Bed and Breakfast. 
GH is a boy that actually gonna want a large of a session. The future is bright, you already know. And we're here with GH Hangout, and we're doing like nobody's business. You should be here for the fun, man. This is the hardest boy TV show, and I am your lovely host, Afima. Peace out. So the reactions are. Mm. Ah, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, people are really loving it. So what do you think? It's the same reaction everywhere. It's official. The food revolution is here. Cooks and households everywhere are scrambling for onga shrimp cubes. Are you there? <laughs> Onga, Mama's helping hand. Most welcome back to Stage Africa. I always love, you know, watching that Azuma Nelson interview after that uh, boxing bout and everything he said about his opponent and all that. But anyway, getting into today's, you know, agenda is a big one. There's karate do, there's judo. And if you ask me, I, I'll tell you, Ghana has got talent. Just watch this video of, uh, you know, kids just doing their own things. Certainly, when you see you know clips like this, you also want to do some. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me just introduce my guest in the studio. His Excellency, the Japanese ambassador to Ghana, Karo Yoshimura. I met him for the first time this morning. So, good morning. Most welcome to the program. Good morning. Okay. That's most, uh, uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we just saw something on, on the screen. What was it about? What, what were the kids doing? Uh, you are watching uh, so called kata. In karate do, okay. uh, it is uh, a kind of compul compulsory e e performance, and uh, that includes uh, all basics of karate do. And okay. at the same time, uh, as you see, a e small one uh, can beat. Big guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was more of a demonstration. But you know, tell, so tell me more about the the championship you always have. You know, that's um, during the Japanese mm. week celebration. You have championships for karate do mm. and judo. judo. Why? Why do you do that? Uh, every year uh, in, uh, in the first week of November, we have uh, so-called Japan Week. Uh, which he introduced Japanese uh, 
cultures uh, and uh, including uh, pop cultures, uh, movies, uh, cartoon, uh, among others. But uh, uh, as you know, uh, judo and karate do are Japanese traditional martial art and they are deeply relating to Japanese culture, okay. uh, disciplines, uh, self-control, and respect uh, uh, your opponents. Uh, so uh, we have uh, uh, Japan ambassador, Japanese ambassador, judo and karate do championship uh, during uh, Japan week. Okay. Okay. So I mean, so this year, how many people you know um, came to the competition that um, you had? Uh, well, uh, I cannot. I, I, I didn't count uh, the exact number. But, uh, uh, judo and karate do both uh, over one hundred people uh, spectators were there. Okay, and you do competitions for? Um, is it a particular age category, mm. or it's, it's just a? Of course, course uh, various age categories and uh, uh, weight categories, uh, and men and women. So, oh, well, oh, in, in judo, oh, maybe more than 10 categories. Uh, and in karate do, oh, at least eight categories uh, uh, were done in the championship. Okay. And this, this is about a third year running mm. that uh, you know. Uh, in terms of uh, Japan Week, yeah. uh, uh, this year's uh, Japan Week. Uh, was the uh, third one. The third one? Mm, you third know, one. You know, okay. So, I mean, what, during this period, I mean, what really do you, is the aim? What, what, what do you try to impact onto the people who come, you know, for this competition? Uh, well, uh, of course, uh, we'd like to uh, uh, promote uh, uh, judo and karate do. And uh, uh, we are looking forward to <coughs> uh, uh, seeing more people uh, practicing, uh, performing judo and karate do. Uh, that's the uh, first motivation why we organize uh, the championship. Okay. Well, I mean, do you, if you if you look closely at the sports and its history, karate do and judo, people are always looking at it and saying, "Well, it originated from mm. Japan." Mm. Um, can you tell, tell us more about the genesis of it, how it came up, you know, and how it became, you know, incorporated in the international sports calendar and mm. all that? Well, uh, okay. Uh, uh, well, uh, both karate, uh, judo, and uh, kendo, those Japanese martial arts, has uh, uh, over uh, 200 years history. Uh, and uh, of course, it was uh, uh, those have been e evolved, uh, uh, and current uh, say a manner or a fashion of uh, judo and karate do was established uh, about one hundred years ago. One hundred years ago, and uh, uh, judo uh, became the Olympic sports in 1964 when Japan hosted uh, the Tokyo Olympic Games okay. uh, 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 and uh, karate do of course uh, there are uh, large uh, karate population in the world okay. uh, but unfortunately it uh, is not uh, uh, Olympic sports yet uh, yet the uh, uh, karate do uh, is likely a candidate of new Olympic sports in 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. Okay. Uh, Mr. Amazada, let, let's just look on the screen quickly. Mm. Um, so they, they wear the gloves. Ah. I mean, that is uh, well another type of karate do. It's another uh, type uh, of karate do. It okay. is uh, called kumite. 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 And uh, uh, both players. Uh, fighting each other in freer manner mm. and uh, uh, when uh, 
one hit uh, yeah. his or her opponents, it makes uh, Yuko or Wazari <laughs> uh, get point. You get points, uh, yes. I was going to say that, okay. Um, well, you also introduced a, a different sport, you know, this year. So we had karate do mm. and we had judo. Mm. Now you're introducing a third one called what, kendo? Kendo, that's right. Oh. Uh, well, uh, I myself uh, uh, have pra practiced kendo for uh, long, more than 40 years. 40 years, okay. <laughs> um, uh, 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 Kendo is a uh, pretty new sport in Ghana. Uh, uh, since I am a kendo practitioner, uh, I have decided to promote kendo, kendo as well in Ghana. Uh, and in fact, uh, in May this year, we had the first kendo demonstration together with uh, uh, judo and karate do demonstration. Okay. Uh, uh, coincidentally, uh, this afternoon, at, uh, starting from 5.30, uh, uh, we are going to have the first kendo training uh, at the uh, hall of uh, the Accra Sports okay. Stadium. All right. All right. Well, we certainly look good. So, I mean, for, for the future, I mean, what, what do you foresee? And, you know, this, this is always a question I also want to pose. You have a lot of Ghanaian practitioners mm. in judo, mm. karate mm. do. They try to compete on, mm. th on the mm. international stage, but there's, there's always a gap between mm. the top people and us. What do they have to do to catch up to the international standard? Uh, well, first of all, uh, when I uh, watched the uh, matches in the championship, I was really impressed with their excellent skills uh, uh, fighting spirits and disciplines. So uh, uh, I believe uh, they are already uh, good in judo or karate do. And uh, in terms of judo, uh, some of uh, excellent judoka in Ghana uh, uh, gained uh, uh, bronze medal uh, in uh, Commonwealth Games or something like that. So, uh, I he, well, uh, uh, Ghana has still uh, uh, shorter history okay. of uh, judo and karate do. So, I think it uh, may take more time to Together. fully catch up the <laughs> world class uh, players. Okay then. Well, we definitely wish you well, and we also look forward to the next um, championship that we'll be having for karate do and judo that is come next year. Mm. And as we get closer to Tokyo 2020, mm -hmm. definitely, uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more, you know, into preparation and 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 everything. I mean, but to Tokyo 2020 is mm. quite a bit far. What what exactly is a plan going towards it? Well, uh, we have uh, Japan uh, has already started various preparations, and uh, uh, at the same time, uh, we uh, are promoting uh, Japanese uh, sports, uh, uh, including martial arts, uh, in various countries, uh, such as Ghana or other African countries. And uh, uh, well, uh, 2020 is now five years ahead. Uh, uh, well, coming soon. At the same time, we have sufficient time. So uh, <laughs> I hope uh, Ghanaian judoka we'll and karateka uh, will join the Olympic Games and compete with world class players and uh, gain medals. Okay. Uh.
Well, it's very interesting what you said there um, about they having time, you know, to prepare and all that. Because recently they even had to change the stadium mm. design for <laughs> Tokyo 2020. <laughs> but yeah. we definitely wish them well. Um, and for our karate and uh, judo practitioners, this is the time. You need to step up a little bit more to catch up to international level. That's what he said. And that's what I gleaned. We don't have a very long history with those sports. But as we gather a lot more experience through competitions, we definitely get there. Many thanks to you. Uh, it's excellent, the ambassador, um, Japan ambassador to Ghana, Karo Yoshimura, for passing through the studio, and we wish you well. Today they haven't um, a meeting with our crowds of folk, uh, coach to Kenichi, so <laughs> we'll definitely pass around and see how things will pan out. But uh, next on the agenda on Stage Africa, we're talking about the National Paralympic Festival coming up on the 29th of November. The Go Get Em Club guys are in the studio, Bocho Nkebe, Maclean Dujonu, as well as Danny Mensa to fill us in on what we should expect on the 29th of November after this break. What can you do with your mixie? And you? What about you? Mixie Milk Powder is rich in vitamins and minerals, essential for a healthy lifestyle. It is smooth and creamy. Mixie Milk Powder, health is a delicious step away. And now, introducing the Creamy Mixie Coffee. Everything side and it go to B. Say my name again. Why do you have that picture on your phone? Yeah, come in. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Charles. Hello? Hello. Please, I'm looking for Cyril. <laughs> I forget the rap solo. Yes, I'll be working small. One time. You better punk, you know what I mean? Executive power under Article 57 and 58, vested in an individual, which is a president. Which is a president. How the laws are working, if you break the law, the law will come after you. Life in prison, um, to me, is not the best of things. You know? It's the worst place I've ever been. Who's like crazier than you? The heat is crazier than you. Th that is total madness. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that I can buy a land for 3,000 dollars. They can never use part of that money to provide any kind of But they promise you heavens, yes, uh, but they won't deliver. Watch the new and improved season of the Capito Show, your one-stop interactive consumer advocacy protection program, showing only on JTV every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Brought to you by Unibank and Talent Oil. <laughs> That what used to be is not anymore. And what used to be cannot be anymore. Because this is the time of your change. God has captured and ordained change for you. And by the power of God, I declare change. Tune in for It's Your Time. Every Monday at 11 to 11.30 p.m. on this station. And some could think it to our real moon, a few few, a dream, and a baby. Some some could think the young honey and to us, yeah, not just him. And then you are the Behman or buying Ned in fear crap. Technically, you're buying any chain Behman. Or baby, you are war ban, or no fun was at it. And then you're messing with it to you, or baby attract to you. There is no perfect wife anywhere, and there is no perfect husband 
anywhere. Mama dear, say we go to ma. We are in a country. If I say I worry more, if I'm not too much, the sex is who he apa. Yeah, when he say a fatter. I'm a production in joy industries, and I didn't some things get everywhere. Just leave so. We go down in Arabia. Now we come here. I go see none do ne fun. Yeah, maybe you might be on the same. Yeah, if you want to, oh, he might be a couple. And some things get here to us. Is back with a bang. Every household, restaurant, canteen, hotel, or any institution with a TV set or equipment capable of receiving TV signal is required to pay a TV license. With your TV license, broadcasting in Ghana is going to get more exciting with educating and entertaining programs, news updates, current affairs programs, including live matches and event proceedings. TV license in Ghana, definitely a wind of change. So we can do shows. Most welcome back to Stage Africa. Pay your TV license fee. That is the message. Always make sure we'll give you the very best of uh, sports in action. On Stage Africa today, we're talking about the National Paralympic Sports Festival coming up on the 29th of November. I'm not sure you heard about it. This is the first time you're hearing about it on TV. And the guys are in the studio to talk about it. First, I need to introduce the man closer to me, Bochon Kebe. I need to congratulate him first too on Stage Africa. He won a silver medal at the All Africa Games. I mean, for all the people who went, there were two Paralympic or para sports athletes who won medals. And Bocho, we need to congratulate you on the show, you know, for a wonderful job well done. Thank and you. It was well. also in the final 800 meters, eh? Yeah. Okay then. Closer to him is another man who also participated at the All Africa Games, McLean Jujonu. Gained a lot of experience and exposure. He's a two time gold medalist at the OCC uh, Wheelchair Challenge. And he can do 42 kilometers, 21 kilometers. Mackling, most welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you very much. And at the far side is uh, the man who um, has, been, has become known as a, you know, a major um, player in the para sports industry in Ghana, sponsoring and making things happen for athletes. And uh, he is the chairman of Dandivan Group of Companies. Danny Lee may say his name. Most welcome to the studio, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so let's, let's get talking on the Para Festival coming up. I'm excited, and I'm sure you're also so excited, you know, to have something of this coming from your camp, Bojo. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's something that, uh, to me, is like a dream, because this is what we want to have uh, for the up and coming athletes to something to motivate some foundation to encourage other para athletes to come to the para sports. So uh, the first time the whole idea came out, I was so, so excited. And uh, we're just waiting to welcome the day to celebrate the, the para sports festival. And uh, I know a new talent or a new athlete will be coming out after the program will end we might get one or two athletes that their future or their also uh, interest of para sports might begin from 29th coming for the para sports festival hmm. now, i see mclean nodding <laughs> <laughs> what 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 are your thoughts i mean once you heard about this great initiative and and uh, you know people's expectations ahead of uh, the 29th of november mclean yeah uh, it has been our hard desire to be having more of this uh, program program